the Joe Rogan experience. We all know it, that formula at McDonald's, why that's the best tasting Coke and Diet Coke on the planet. Why? They have it because what happens is when you when you're an establishment like a restaurant, you get you know a, a formula like the 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 gun has a blend, and there's definitely a different formula at the McDon at McDonald's. Oh, has they, there been anything written about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, it, how? Go it, if you drive by a McDonald's and you get a Diet Coke, you'll be like, what the fuck? Okay, typically restaurants get their soda syrups in plastic bags, but Coca-Cola does something different for McDonald's. The fast food chain gets their Coke syrup delivered in stainless steel tanks. According to the New York Times, the material keeps the soda fresher and your tongue can taste the difference. A thousand percent it can. Right, but is it a more potent blend or is it just because it's in the tanks? I don't know, but it does taste so much better. It says their filtration system is top tier. It is superior. Wow, there's all these articles about but, it being superior. And I would say both. Like regular Coke, you'll all of a sudden you're like, oh man. And McDonald's Diet has Coke. an article. Yeah. McDonald's does. It says, there are many reasons the Coca Cola tastes so great at McDonald's. We simply follow the guidelines set by Coca Cola and take steps to ensure that we serve a high quality fountain beverage. Well, congratulations, you do that. Yes. The water and Coca Cola syrup are pre chilled before entering our fountain dispensers with the ratio syrup set to allow for ice to melt. Oh, so that it doesn't get watered down with the ice, so they are making it stronger. But doesn't that's this, smart. Isn't this tell you something though that how everything is in the details? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yep. this is something that probably a restaurant would be like Coca Cola would say you should do this, and they go, whatever, right? You know, like whatever. We'll just we'll just put it in the gun and and, and send, but I I believe that McDonald's sticks to that because it is consistent. And it is so much different tasting. Even what they said about their straws. Yeah. So their straws are typically wider than the typical straw. So you have a different amount coming yeah, in. Yeah. Give it to me. Right mm. in my face hole, you fuckheads. Fuck my <laughs> mouth with Coke. <laughs> yeah. 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 Big so, old fat tube of it. So fucking Extra good. syrupy. Because what if the ice melts? Yeah. Uh, what if the ice melts? Even you know, their ice some... is better there. They have better ice? They have better or ice. They have filtered water, they said. Uh, there you go. By the way, we're not paid by McDonald's for this. No. I don't even eat that stuff. <clears throat> but if I did, it's filet of fishes. Filet of fish. I could eat five of those fuckers. Really? I love filets of fishes. I don't even know what that is. McDonald's has this thing, too, where there's a temperature <coughs> swing where it goes from being the best thing you can eat at that moment to, right. like, this is Unedible. dog food. Right. Yeah, like you're like, throw this down. I was uh, in California a few months ago, and I had a quarter pounder. It was actually quite a while ago, 10 months ago. And I had a quarter pounder for the first time in fucking forever. Yeah. I but I was starving. Yeah. And I had to eat, and I was headed to the airport. I'm like, we just pull in this drive through yeah. real quick and get a quarter pounder. It's so sweet. So, yeah. Like, I could taste the sugar yeah. in a quarter pounder. Their bread even is, I think, Yeah, it sweet. tasted yeah. like a pastry. Yeah. I was like, this is interesting. It was very good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I really did. I I'm you. a quarter pounder fan. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing, but it's, it's fucking delicious. That's the thing I think you really notice about certain foods when you stay away from them for mm -hmm. a while, is that when you reintroduce them, you go, oh, I didn't realize that I was... This is this tastes way different. Yeah, is... way different. I th I thought it was gonna taste like an In and Out cheeseburger. Yeah, like a cheeseburger. Like In and Out is the gold standard for me. Yeah. For for fast food places, that's the you can't fuck with In and Out. But In they my, have a standard. And fa and and Five Guys. They have stand. I mean, In and Out has high standards. Oh yeah, but whether I mean... or not they <clears throat> they are for your palate, you can't right. negate that they have high standards. Some people hate their fries. I'm like, I know. How can well, you I, hate their fries? They're what you you're seeing them chop the potatoes yeah. in the back. I just wish they did it in beef tallow because they do in some bullshit seed oils. That's what. what that's what they. Yeah, I'm put. sure. What is it? What does uh, In and Out use oil for their fries? Everybody uses like canola oil, which is basically industrial lubricant. That stuff was invented to lube mm. up machines. Really? Sunflower yeah. oil. Sunflower oil. Same shit. Yeah. <clears throat> you're not supposed to get that much sunflower oil in your body at one point in time. It's not normal. But they definitely, yeah. I've seen Sounds them. healthy, doesn't it? It does, actually. Sunflower yeah. sounds good. That shit's not healthy. They watch them. They're chopping the produce right there. Oh, like yeah. Right in front of you. Like, right in front of you. The, the, the meat is fresh. It's not frozen. And, and you nice, can taste it. Nice biblical verse on the bottom of the cup. Oh, that's so sweet. It's beautiful. I, when I, you know what I love? Flying Dutchman's. Yeah. Yeah. That's the secret what I menu. Get. Yeah, that's what I get. 
The secret menu is, is really fascinating. They have it. I know it's entire, wild. Yeah, animal style and all that jazz. Yeah, nothing's on. No, not printed though. Yeah, yeah, how do you find that out? You gotta I know somebody. Yeah, somebody told me about it the first time, and then I googled it, and it's it's much more extensive than you. It's not like two or three things. Oh yeah, it's a shit ton. Of it's things. a lot of things. Yeah, it's things I've never even heard of yeah. before. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, but it's fucking delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I but also the, love... it is such a different taste though than a McDonald's burger. McDonald's burger is like, it was sweet. I'd like to know how much, what, how many, gr- how many grams of sugar is in a quarter pounder? It's got to be, it's, and I'm telling you, it's got to be from that bread too. That bread it's got to be sweet. from everything. It seems like it's from the ketchup too. It, yeah. it seemed like the condiments had some sugar. Higher sugar content. Yeah, it just tasted <coughs> like it had sugar in it. Like I'm real sensitive to that, so I eat it. I'm like, mm. it was good though. I also love a Chick Fil A sandwich. Oh, I love a Chick Fil A. Yeah, I love your wife's joke about them. <laughs> She's so funny, yeah, man. She's great. Oh, she's so funny. Ten grams. Ten grams of sugar. Eight of it's added, though. So that might be the bread. The bread. Mm, okay, so it's two natural and eight added. So it must be eight grams of sugar in the bread. Yeah. Yeah. That's in a quarter pounder. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. Yeah. Like a really sugary drink. Maybe it's like, the ketchup, even. Mm, it's yeah, that that's what I was saying too. I felt like the yeah. ketchup was kind of sweet. So it's probably the bun and the ketchup. Good, though. So good. <laughs> it's a good move to put that eight grams in there. Yeah. It's so fucking good. It makes it more delicious. If you're only looking for something delicious. You ever heard of the McDonald's secret menu? No. What? They have some weird shit on here like this. The land, sea, and air burger? Fish filet chicken and burger. Whoa. The difference is, though, I feel like if you- They'll stab you if you order that. <laughs> if Yeah, if you order that, first of all, I think they'd be like, the fuck are you talking about? Look at this McCrepe. The, the McGangbang? Bang? Shut the There's fuck no up. There's no way. I think Come these on. are real, I swear. Are you serious? I don't know which place is going to really know about them, but I've seen people ask, like, they follow through with a video and go ask for some of this stuff. What? There's a weird awesome, viral man. thing going on right now with them because they have a Grimace milkshake. Yeah. And people are making some crazy videos about, like, what happened to me after I drank Oh, this crazy like Red milkshake. Band did with... Uh... 100%. Yeah. Like <laughs> Whatever Red Band did with Pepsi Spice? No. Did you never knew about that? No. <sighs> It's the greatest troll Red Band ever pulled off. Really? Red Band bought PepsiSpice.com, and then he documented his enjoying delicious Pepsi Spice. And so as he's drinking Pepsi Spice, he's losing weight. He's getting b- blood in his diarrhea. He's, he's dying. <laughs> At the end, he's making videos. This is like young Red Band, Pepsi Spice Project promo. I don't know what the, ha, this has to do with anything. What does that have oh to do with Pepsi? Is he bathroom. blowing himself? Yeah, he's in the bathroom <laughs> doing stuff. But yeah. So he's filming himself drinking Pepsi Spice Pepsi with Spice. himself. So anyway, he, so he, made, he bought PepsiSpice.com, and he had to give it to Pepsi after a while. Oh, really? But I mean, I, I think it still exists somewhere online. But, but they, like, they came to him, and they were like, Hey, you motherfucker, yeah. we'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> because he's... It went viral, you know, yeah. at the time, like yeah. whatever viral is in the year 2001. Imagine, like, the, the threat from a corporation like that. With oh, my God. Blog for yeah. it. Uh, the oh, Pepsi yeah. Spice Project. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. Wade continues to add. I like the stamp yesterday. It sizzles. It sizzles. I'm afraid <laughs> to have sex. I keep thinking that my overcaffeinated sperm would blow a hole through the back of a girl's head. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's, stupid. it's just so stupid. It's so stupid. But that's the <laughs> funnest thing to do is a stupid bit.